He's dead. But he always knew what he was getting involved with. He don't know everything, I'm afraid. I can't help you with that one. Sorry. It's the most popular drink that I sell. In fact, a lot of it has disappeared from my stocks recently. It was Mr. Remington's favorite food. That strange green powder isn't supposed to be there. Why don't you show that to someone else? You don't know everything, I'm afraid. That's the same fabric from Mr. Remington's curtains. I can't help you with that one. Sorry. Why don't you show that to someone else? You don't know everything, I'm afraid. I can't help you with that one. Sorry. Why don't you show that to someone else? I don't know very much about them. He eats here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protests recently. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. You have a lot of suspects on that list. I don't know what to say. I don't know very much about them. Your prime suspect, am I correct? Well, technically. But I'm not even sure he's real. Don't worry about that. Real or not, the creature's the most important part of this mystery. Which one? The cartoon character or the real creature? Exactly. He was a friend for many years. If you have any questions about him or his belongings, I may be able to help you. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? A bog donkey ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. A lockpick? I've never encountered a problem like this before. But since last night, am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Somebody knew that Remington would eat a bomb dog. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? There's a wooden path built right into the shipwreck. The rope bridge leads up through those trees. Do they expect tourists to climb up there? It looks dangerous. It feels like I've stepped into nighttime. What happened to the sun? I wouldn't be using this old rope bridge if I had a choice. I've seen the movies, I know what happens. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. The latch is broken on this door. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Oh. 
perfect. I am amazing. This is like an oven? Or is it just a boiler? Ah, it's so old fashioned, it hurts my brain. The tree comes straight through the middle of the house. It even has little drawers carved into it. Okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. A little blanket on a little bed in a little house. It makes very little sense. Check out that sunlight beaming through the window. <laughs> it's so bright I should have brought my sunglasses. There's a book on the table. I think it's a book about flowers. How oh, fascinating. I must take some time to read it. You just walked straight into my house, did you? Not exactly. I had to climb up here first. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for a harmless idiot. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him, or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. Sixty years, something like that. And what have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow, how do you do that? Chemistry. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft and sew my own clothes? No, but that's a good reason. Let's go with that. Well, these designs look like they should have stayed where they were. In the trash? On paper. Oh, uh, how come? Whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing. You would have done it differently? Of course. I am a seamstress. There was a time when I considered sewing my craft. My livelihood. Really? When Richard Remington arrived in the swamp years ago, I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. If you bring me something with liquid on it, I might be able to help you. You can put that away. I can't help you with it. No, thank you. 
There are samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. If you bring me something with liquid on it, I might be able to help you.